the segment we call Word. This is when we look at the Bible and see what God has to say about the virtue we are studying during the month. Since we're looking at the virtue of endurance this month, let's look at a story about some people who kept going even when things really got tough. Now let's see, how can we best show this story today? It comes from the Old Testament and I think maybe we could... Scoop. Tonight on the Egyptian News Network, we're going to take a look at a major issue that this network is calling the Hebrew problem. Tonight we have a very special guest with us to expand on the situation. Please welcome Moses. Thank you for joining us tonight, Moses. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. So Moses, what brings you back to Egypt? You want the short answer? Uh, yes, please. Three letters. God. God? Yes. God sent me here, I guess, to get most Pharaoh to re release the Hebrew slaves. And you think that you are qualified for such a task? You can get the Hebrew slaves released? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, I keep telling God he's got the wrong guy. Aaron speaks better than I do. I know about sheep. Aren't you the same Moses who left Egypt under somewhat suspicious circumstances, oh, about 40 years ago? Well, yeah, but that just proves my point. Besides, every time we ask Pharaoh to let our people go, he just makes it worse. Yes, you may have seen that in our story yesterday on the increased brick quota that Pharaoh has uh, put down on all of the Hebrew slaves. Well, yeah, and did you hear about what he's done with, with the straw? He's taken away the straw. You ever tried to make bricks without straw? Uh, no, it's been a while since I did any brick making. So Moses, if you feel that you're not qualified for the job that you're supposed to do, well, what are you going to do? Well, all I can. I guess I'll just keep going, even though things are tough. I mean, I just don't get it. Why is everything getting more difficult? I always suck at doing what God says make things easier. I just don't understand. Uh, 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 well, hold on there. You're not going to drop that staff, are you? I've heard what happens. Oh, oh no, I got it. Um, this is just in, I've just been handed this bulletin. Sources elsewhere are reporting that the Pharaoh of all Egypt, ruler of the Nile, has said he is afraid of the Hebrews. At the grand opening of a hummus bar in downtown Cairo today, Pharaoh is quoted as saying that he is frustrated by his inability to control his Hebrew slaves. And he's apprehensive because the Hebrew people continue to prosper and flourish despite his best efforts to oppress them. Trust me, stick with the Egyptian News yep. Network. And so do you think Pharaoh was afraid? Well, you remember the story of the plagues and the way his army was defeated by God as the Israelites escaped. I guess he had good reason to be afraid, didn't he? He didn't understand what was going on. He didn't understand that God had a plan. Did you see how the virtue of endurance could help the slaves? Did you see how the Pharaoh was so frustrated? He was in the middle of an incredible story and he didn't realize it. Good evening and welcome back to the Egyptian News Network's continuing coverage of the Hebrew Escape from Egypt. I'm Sally Scoop, joining you live from our Cairo affiliate, and with me is the self-appointed leader of this exodus, Moses. Oh, no, no, not self-appointed. I was given the job. By whom? God. Well, Moses, you've led thousands of slaves to freedom, defeated the world's greatest army, and now established a new nation. What's next? Well, actually, I didn't do all that. You see, God had a plan the whole time. A lot of people never thought we'd make it. I know. I was one of them. Well, thanks. But hey, look, God has a plan. All we have to do is stick with what we started. Well, that's easy for you to say now. Uh, no, it's not. You see, there's a great big desert out there, and uh, I don't even have a map. Well, you could stop and ask directions. Uh, no. Typical. I'm Sally Scoop here at our Red Sea affiliate. Stay with Egyptian News Network for continuing coverage of the Hebrews' exodus from Egypt. Moses is a perfect example of someone who did what God said, even when he didn't understand why. And in the end, it helped form the nation of Israel. This is a great story to remember when we know the right thing to do, but we don't understand the whole picture. Let's pray. 
Father, help us to see your will for our lives. Help us begin to follow you and listen to you. And even when we don't understand why, help us to stick with what we know is right. Amen. All right. So you want to go back to Egypt? Where it's warm and secure. I'm Floyd Patterson. I'm the number you when you thought you were sure. You wanted to live in the land. Well, Moses, you've led thousands of slaves to freedom, defeated the strongest army in the known world, and created and established a new nation. So, what's next? Well, I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs>